Hi, I'm Rodney Sharp, owner and president of Sharp Grade International. Today we're looking at a sonic tracker and what it will do and how to set it up. So here's a sonic tracker and it's designed for use on string lines or flat surfaces like graded, already graded surfaces or something like a lip of a kerb. So it will, it will set the height or elevation uh, in relation to a string line or a flat surface. And for the crossfall, we utilize a slope sensor. Now these slope sensors are gyro stabilized, so they're very stable and very quick, much quicker than a lot of others on the market. And this allows us to follow a grade a lot more closely. So the slope sensor sets the crossfall, in which you can adjust at any time, and the sonic adjusts the elevation. The elevation is adjustable on the screen, on the go, inside the cab. So you can grade and alter the elevation up to 600 millimetres, which is two feet, on the go. But uh, most of the time you keep it around uh, 300 millimetres or one foot. But it'll follow a string line or uh, boxing formwork uh, or a graded surface. So we're going to show you how to set it up and how it works. Right, what is a sonic tracker? A sonic tracker is an ultrasonic device that uses ultrasound to detect distance. And the quad grade uses five sensors. So some only have one, we have five. And what that does is it gives us a broader spread and greater accuracy. So if the string is not exactly in the middle, it, it can pick up each sensor and know where it is so it doesn't alter the accuracy depending on where the string is. So it's a very important feature. When you go to use a tracker, there's some important things to understand to get the ultimate out of it. So here's our sonic, here's our string line, and we've got beams coming out. And I'll put a fifth one in there, okay? And they can pick up the string. Now, the string can move anywhere in this range. It can move 150 mils, six inches either side, and it will still maintain the accuracy because all of these beams will pick it up and detect it. But you ask, okay, what if I have a, a pin that I've got my string line on and it's going to interfere? Well, what we can do is we can set a control zone off the center of the string that anywhere in there we will detect and anywhere outside of that it will not detect and will ignore. So that's how we do it. So we set a control zone and we'll go through that in a, in a minute. And so all you have to ensure is that your pins or whatever is holding your string is taller than your control zone and it will completely ignore it. And also if your ground is down here you've got to remember that the ground can't be in the control zone. So nothing can be in that control zone above or below the string. Or you've got to remember that the beam comes out wider as well. So when the string is running along, we've got to look beside the string as well. Otherwise, if you have something beside the string, it's going to interfere. So those are the things that you just have to remember when you're setting up a sonic. Another thing with having multiple beams is that when we start running, on a ground surface and we've got all these beams coming out and we get a stone what we can do is we can look at all of these and say they're all the same and we have one anomaly here so we'll ignore it so having multiple sensors allows you to have a very accurate dimension on a surface that that is not perfectly flat the optimum range is 600 millimetres or two feet, 24 inches, okay? It will run bigger and smaller. It can run all the way down here. But what happens is your sensing window gets further apart and it gets more spread. Now, they still work, but if you keep them around six, 600 millimetres, two feet, that is the optimum, but you can go another 200 millimetres either side of that from 400 to 800 millimetres and they'll still work fine. But just remember, 600 millimetres is about the optimum. 
So that's what we're going to set at. Now, they will also sense off uh, concrete boxing. So if instead of a, a string line, if it's got formwork, it will read that and we can tell it that it's a string and it will read, because we've got multiple sensors, it will read formwork and treat it as a string, just a very thick wide string. So if you want to fit your boxing and then grade inside your boxing to suit the formwork, we can do that. And if you're doing something like a walkway or cycleway and it's been set up with two forms on each side, you can run another sonic on this side and it will follow that perfectly. And because we can have uh, 150 mil, six inches each way, you, you set one up and follow that, and then the other one will just take up the slack. So that the Sonic Tracker can go either side on the Sharp Grader. It's the only box grader in the world where you can set the Sonic up on either side. And that's because of the quad rod linkage. And we've talked about the quad rod linkage in the past because it doesn't have a center pivot. So great, you can set up left or right hand side. And so you set the Sonic up and you set it so that it's basically to the front of the blade because that's the one you're going to be working with. And you can adjust it in or out by using these clamps and, and slide it in and out. Now, normally you want the center to be around three, 300 millimeters a foot out. You can run it closer, but you have to be careful that you don't start registering the side of the, the box or when material spills over the box. Uh, it can start influencing it. So you normally set it at least 300 mils off the wing. And the height is around, the optimum is around 600 mil or two feet, 24 inches, off your string or off the surface. And you can adjust that height from sliding it up and down the pole. So very simple to, to install, it just slides down the pole and then you clamp it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect if it's it's within an inch, it doesn't matter because this thing's got so much range. You know, you've got eight inches of range either, either side. Okay, the Sonic will respond to the string line. So as the string line is moved or the machine moves in relation to the string line, the Sonic will keep a constant height. And because it's got multiple sensors, it does not have to be on the center line to maintain correct height and that is because we've got multiple sensors to, to track where the string is. And as we move the string, it, it will tell the operator in the cab which way to move his machine to maintain center line of the string. So it's very responsive. As we move, you can see that we're moving off the string and I can just move the machine and it will tell me when I'm back on the string. And if I overcorrect, it will tell me that I've gone too far the other way and I'll come back again to the centre. As the string line goes up and down, it'll tell us where it's going and what it's doing. So it's all automatic. You don't have to do anything but just keep it in the centre of the string. Very easy to uh, drive and to control. We can adjust the grade height while we're grading by pushing the setting button and then adjusting the grade height. And the grade height will raise or lower it on the fly. And then you can go back and it'll tell you on the screen how much you've offset the grade height. You can also manually override the grade height by pushing the buttons on the joystick and letting them off, it'll go back to grade. You can also set the slope or the cross fall by pushing the settings and then adjusting it up and down to, to whatever you want. And it will adjust on the fly and then reset. And you can override it at any time. When you want to adjust the sonic control window, you select menu, adjustments, and then sonic control. And you select to adjust, and then you adjust it up or down. So the, the wider the window you have, the more latitude you've got to get off the string. But you've got to remember that the sonic control window has to be smaller than the height of your pins, otherwise it'll affect your grade height. 
So, and when once you've selected that, you put, press save, and then go back, and then away you go. So, everything's automatic. You don't have to do uh, anything. You've got full control of your grade height uh, and your crossfall. So, very simple system to use. When we go into ground mode, we turn the tracker from parallel with the blade to laying perpendicular to the blade and this allows us the sensors to sense a wider path and, and that means it can take out any anomalies in the, in the surface so uh, stones and undulations are averaged out. So we uh, just place the sonic tracker perpendicular, lock it up, set the height and then start grading as simple as that and it'll grade off the surface so that allows us to transfer the same grade over and over and over again so you can do a wide section of driveway or road uh, off the same setting and it'll all be seamless so it'll grade match so a uh, very simple rugged device that's really popular for doing curb work uh, gutters uh, sidewalks walking tracks, cycleways, that sort of thing, uh, very effective. Uh, if you want any more information, go to www.sharpgrade.com. Thank you for your time.